This is my hostess today for this party, which is to celebrate her daughter's first communion. Now let me ask you a question, quick one. When I appeared at the church in my traditional African costume with the gaily, oh, yeah. what was your first impression? Wow. <laughs> I, I I didn't recognize Annie at all. <laughs> Amazing, you know what I mean. First time, did you think really well? Did you think it was um, presumptuous of me to wear this, or did you did you think it was was it negative or positive? It, it was positive. It was positive. It was. I mean, it, it's a good touch, you know. Yeah. I mean, for somebody to like to share your culture, and yes. that, I think yes. it's really nice. So Why you don't not? you don't think I'm trying to steal your culture? No. I'm not trying to appropriate the African culture by wearing, no, you know, this borrowed <laughs> this borrowed uh -huh. costume. <laughs> I this has been gifted to me, but the top and the skirt here is more road. Okay. <laughs> so I have to give this back. You really well too. <laughs> I have to give this back. So if you see, if I was a white British woman and I'm going to a party and I meet you at the party, let's say it's just like a Christmas party and I wear, the, let's say, you know, I, I'm not going to a Nigerian house for a party like today, do you think it would be offensive for you to see her in the gele and the, no, and the blouse? Not at all. Well, I think culture is something that should be shared. You know what I, I mean? like that. When culture you share your culture, shared. people get to know you better and yes. understand you better. So, right. definitely, why not? I definitely would like to dress up in somebody else's culture. Yes. I mean, why not? It's a way of us getting together and knowing each other. I mean, it's fun. Yeah. So, you think, you think it's, you, do you want to see more people who are not African try and adopt? Oh yeah, African. definitely. We all try. I'm, I'm African, but yes. I wear European clothes and all that. Yes, why exactly. So, yeah, we wear dresses. Yeah, right? we wear dresses. We wear, I mean, jeans and all that. Yes. So why not? So you don't is think it's offensive? Not at all. It's not. It's, so if you it's, see, it's a beautiful thing. If you ask. Me. Because you know, like I said, the reason I ask is because there's a Chinese guy who got really upset with a white American girl for wearing a Chinese costume to her prom night because it's a formal wear. She, she didn't want to wear the typical dress. She said, what is formal but traditional? So she decided to wear a Chinese costume and the Chinese guy got really upset. So I was wondering if I, if you were to see me in a party, in a formal party and I turned up looking like this, that's uh, what I want you to know. Would you? Would no, you? definitely. You look amazing. You look beautiful. So definitely. Like for you, your costume no is one. beautiful, right? Oh, it yeah. is very it's, it's elegant. Colorful as well. So. Yeah, it's elegant. So I'm there you go. It. From an African woman, she thinks it's okay if you want to wear her costume. Definitely. But of course, it's all about the respect with it. Definitely. Right? Definitely. You wear it with the respect. Definitely. With the, you know. that, that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> this so, is the full thing here you're looking at. There you go. Do you know how difficult it is to do this? <laughs> you don't know how to do it. But for the first time, I think you've done really well. Yeah, for me, it is about the respect because it's not easy to learn no. to do this. And for me to try, it means I really, really want to wear it. Exactly. That you put so much effort on. I mean, you've done well. Thank you. Thank you. What are we going to talk about? This is coffee. Hello. Goes this way from earlier. That's right. From earlier. <laughs> yeah, from, from earlier. earlier. Okay. We're the only one. You know? <laughs> but today. Yeah. Yes. The one I'm only. Oh, yeah, the, the one only one. one. Yeah, yeah. So you're Ghanaian, and we have the food here that's Ghanaian and Nigerian. That's right. To, to show the marriage. Absolutely. Of your house. So let's, let's, let's look at the food here. Yeah. What's that? That's shito. Shito. That's Ghanaian. It's made of shrimps. Shrimps. Pepper. Pepper. Um, onions. A bit of um, tomato puree. Yeah. And they basically they put it all together with onions and all the rest of it, and you get a yeah. push like that. Because you know what? When Take I when I was when I was trying it, I actually taste uh, dried fish. That's right. That's shrimp. That's a dried shrimp. Ah, yeah. 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 it tastes like Indonesian sambal. Right? I was gonna say that definitely. That tastes yeah. some of the Far Eastern food. Yeah. And it's quite similar in there. There's also some ginger in there too. Ah. You know? Yeah. Okay, and then you got the brown rice. You got the the, 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 beef, the beans, what's it called? Yeah, watch it. What? Watch it. Watch it. That's right. Watch it. That's right. So, so, so in West Indies, they call it, they call it. She's a vlogging, you know. He's got, he's got, he's got serious pages going on. Money. I'm telling you, this is right. This is woman, you know. Okay, okay. So, so this is watch it, yeah. This yeah. is rice with beans, basically. Rice and beans, because that's you know, very Mexican too. Uh, exactly. They have that. They have it in Brazil. Yeah. They got it in, in the Caribbean. You they, think it's from Africa that came to America? Oh yeah, America. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's all through the slaves. It's all exported through. Right. You know, okay. Okay. So, um. 
what this is called is rice and peas, really, in the West Indies. Right, right. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. So that's what's exported out. Yeah. Here you've got, this is a West African. This is the like Nigerian this. bit. Yeah, it's a, it, well, to be honest, it's all West African. That's West African, okay. Yeah, that is the famous jollof, basically. Yes, I know. You know? Yeah. Uh, With a stew. And there's a big debate about that. Who makes the best jollof? <laughs> you know? I'm not into all of that. I'm listening to the same. But, but jollof is not uh, Ghanaian, right? Well, the whole of West Africa does it. Okay. They, to be honest with you, the history from what I heard yeah. come from the Senegal. That's what oh, I was told. Senegal. Yeah, initially, and it spread all the way. Okay. East, you know, to the other part of West Africa. But yeah. I don't know. That's what I'm told. Yeah. You know, we always. And this thing on my fork is plantain. That's what I was plantain. You, can see. you know. And what is that? Is that Ghanaian or Nigerian? Well, everybody's got that. To be honest with you, whatever they plant plantain, <laughs> everybody brings it up. Even Jamaica, in Jamaica exactly. Okay. You know, we still have it in the deep south in America. Yeah. You know? uh, uh, um, then you got a stew that goes with it. So that little sauce, tomato, you know, and I'm fried onions. I'm good now. I'm like, I'm eating what my dress is. Yes, that's right. <laughs> the West Coast, West Coast, the West African connection. You got there right we go. There. That's All right. right. You see? Let's eat. Yeah, but you see, this looks like a Caribbean dish. Too, exactly. To be quite yeah, like exactly. I said, yeah. all one people. Obviously, some were exported out, and yeah. that's what it's being exported out. It's still, it's, it's still kept, yeah. you know, together. You go to anywhere in the Caribbean, yeah, you see yeah. all of this. You go to Brazil, Cuba, you name yeah. it. It's all the same, you know. Yeah, the yeah, same yeah. people, you yeah. know. So you know, cool. yeah, the food carries on, really. The spirit is there, you know. That's it. One nation. Shall, shall we eat now? Yeah. Oh, we shall. Eat. Let's go. Let's Definitely. Go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Florence, Florence, go down and ready. So that was the end of our amazing afternoon with our Nigerian West African family slash friends. Um, you know, the best parties are the one where your tummy's full, your 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 belly hurts from laughing. There's so much noise, there's so much music. All the children are playing happily. I tell you what, if you haven't got or found your, um, if you don't know much about the African culture, go find yourself a friend and learn more about the culture. It is an amazing culture, and I'm so happy and blessed that we have these amazing friends to share with us their happiness. 
See you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and give me a comment.